computer. All right. It says All recording. Right. Recording. All right. All right. Who's uh, our? I'll, I'll go first. All right. All right. Hello. My name is Kyler Smith. Uh, today I'm defending the mighty Pepsi's Grossa, or better known as the Tarantula Hawk. Uh, there are over 300 species of the Tarantula Hawks, but the Pepsi's Grossa is the most common amongst them all. Uh, these ter terrifying tarantula hawks are very well deserving of their fierce and precise name. Females being able to grow up to 50 millimeters in length or two inches, while males are smaller at around 35 millimeters in length. The females are also the only gender that carry a deadly one, uh, third of an inch long stinger. So in defending the tarantula hawk today, I will be defending the female counterpart. This stinger is much more than a sting scoring a 4.0 on the Schmidt Sting Pain Index and being slightly less painful than a bullet amp. Its sting is capable of paralyzing giant tarantulas with leg spans of up to 30 centimeters. One tarantula it preys on is the Goliath Bird Eater, the largest spider in the world, weighing up to six ounces or 170 grams. Female tarantula hawks are diurnal and hunt during the day. They fly over the ground, scouting for spiders in their burrows, and then once found, she courageously enters the burrow to scout for spiders, only to chase them in the open for a more advantageous fight for a flyer like the prince. Once she's killed the spider by stinging it on its backside, she then takes it back in its own burrow to lay in a single egg on the spider abdomen, which grows to an adolescent in two to three weeks. All right, that'll be my opening statement. Hello. My name is Ethan Bivens. Today I'll be defending the one and only Pandinius Imperator, or better known as the Emperor Scorpion. The Emperor Scorpion um, originates in rainforests and savannas in West Africa. Being one of the largest scorpions in the world, the Emperor Scorpion on average grows up to 7.9 inches in length and 30 grams in weight. Male scorpions are extremely territorial and will fight to the death. If it, um, it feeds on insects, arthropods, and sometimes small mammals like mice, lizards, and, and small snakes. The Emperor's scorpion can kill and eat organisms much larger than its size, while also be, being able to pull their dinner down into their underground burrow to feast. The adult Emperor scorpion utilizes its massive and strong pincers to tear apart its opponent, often not using its stinger at all. It hunts at night while using its sensory hairs to detects prey since it's sensitive to light. The Emperor scorpion spends most of its day burrowed under rocks, logs, and forest debris. When it is not burrowed away, it is looking to mate. A fun fact about the Emperor scorpion is that it glows bright blue under UV light. It can also live up to eight years. Even though Emperor scorpions are cold-blooded, they can withstand the heat of the desert and be cooled to blue freezing temperatures and still live. Their big frame, along with their dangerous looking singer, wards off big, bigger predators. All right, all right. So our debate topic, who would win in a fight? Simply, the Emperor Scorpion does not come out top on this one. Sure, it has a decent weight and size advantage, but we're talking about a tarantula hawk that kills the world's largest spider. The first obvious disadvantage would be that the scorpion just simply cannot grab the tarantula hawk because of its superior flight and speed. The Emperor scorpion defeats most of its opponents by simply grabbing their opponents with their pincers and pinning them down with their advantageous weight. But there's just no catching a hawk that can just fly circles around it. So if caught in the open, the scorpion would have to retreat in its burrow, where the tarantula hawk still remains a formidable opponent. All right, all right. Well, while the tarantula hawk has the ability to paralyze a tarantula, its stinger is not strong enough to penetrate the hard shell-like skin of the emperor scorpion. The only method of attack the two-inch bug has is its paralyzing sting, which can even be used against the emperor scorpion. To refute your point, the emperor scorpion hunts its prey by staying motionless beneath cover and then ambushing its prey once close enough to catch it in an instantaneous movement that takes a fraction of a second. The emperor scorpion attacks its prey when it is caught off guard, not when the prey consciously knows it's being hunted. A 
would be able to grab the Trangel Hawk and a swift m motion with its strong pincers and rib pieces if it was undetected and close enough. All right, all right, that's fair. You are correct on the Tarantula's one method attack being the Stinger, but do not take that one attack lightly, as their Stinger is both accurate and efficient when taking down opponents. Although the Emperor Scorpion has a hard protective shell-like skin that has a chance of deflecting the Tarantula Hawk's deadly Stinger, it always has vulnerability spots that the Tarantula Hawk will, will detect and pursue. Spots like its eyes, its mouth, and even the slits between the shell plates on its back would all result in a paralyzed scorpion. The face of the Emperor Scorpion stands as an extra vulnerable because once close enough, the scorpion's short and stubby pincers wouldn't even be able to reach the tarantula hawk. The tarantula hawk would then paralyze the scorpion and proceed to have no problem moving your wimpy 30 gram scorpion as it moves 170 gram Goliath bird eaters. All right, you are right that the Trangela Hawk could inject its paralyzing poison if inserted in the Emperor Scorpion's face area, but I do not see it feasible for the Trangela Hawk to sting the Emperor Scorpion in between the scales on its back. When fighting and threatened, the Emperor Scorpion tenses up and closes the, the, the spaces in between the scales on its back, leaving its face as the only possible target. The two problems with attacking the face is that if attacked head-on, horizontally, the tarantula hawk has to get through its massive pincers that are used to doing its prey that's right in front of it. The tarantula hawk is not quick enough to attack it straight on. The only other option is for the tarantula hawk to come in over the top vertically, missing the upper scorpion's main utility, its pincers. The second problem with reaching its face is that even though the upper scorpion doesn't normally use its stinger, if not able to use its uh, pincers, it will result in seeing the Trangel Hawk forcing it to retreat. So now our closing statements. Uh, well, it seems that the Tarantula Hawk and Emperor Scorpion are both formidable opponents. The ending result would depend a lot, would depend on a lot of the variables of the fight. If the Tarantula Hawk was able to catch the Emperor Scorpion in the open, uh, taking away the Scorpion's element of surprise, I believe the Tarantula Hawk would be able to successfully paralyze the Scorpion. If the two insects fought in an enclosed area, taking away the tarantula hawk's advantageous flying and movement capabilities, I believe the scorpion would ultimately win by cornering him down and pinning him with the pincer. Personally, I believe the most fair conditions would be a tarantula hawk finding a scorpion in its burrow, giving the scorpion the opportunity to fight in the enclosed burrow, but also leaving the opportunity for the fight to go out in the open where the tarantula hawk would thrive much better. I believe that if the tarantula hawk flew in and landed on top of the emperor scorpion without the emperor scorpion noticing, in an open setting, the tarantula hawk could uh, land a sting on the scorpion and win the fight. The tarantula hawk has a good chance of doing this because the emperor scorpion uses its sensor hairs on its legs to feel for vibrations in the ground to look at its prey. The Emperor Scorpion would not feel it coming, leaving a clear sting, stinging opportunity for the Tarantula Hawk. But realistically, if the two were, um, were to face inside of the Emperor Scorpion's burrow, the Tarantula Hawk would not have the option to fly, allowing the Scorpion to be, to be able to feel where the Hawk is and landing a fatal blow with its pincers. All right. And uh, that is our debate. Thank you. It is. Thank you.